Hi everyone, Tasha here from Start a School Crochet. Welcome to my channel. Thanks for stopping by and thank you for um, subscribing. We're gonna work on the Sweet Treats Cow border today and I wanted to show you how to create the second row of the border. This is the first row, which I did in another video and you can find the link down in the description below and I'll also put a little link up in the um, right there. Once you're finished with row one right here, you're just going to tie off your end and just pull it on out. You're gonna take your complementary color. I'm using white for my borders. I'm gonna show you the borders that I've already done. So you can use a different color for each border of your square. I'm gonna try, I'm using white for all of my squares just because I like the way it looks. But this is what your second row of the border is going to look like. And basically you can do any stitch you want. I'm using half double crochets. Um, you can use double crochets, bobbles, popcorns, whatever you want to make your blanket unique and uh, reflect your own creative style. Once you finish row one, you're going to take your complement color and you can insert it in any of the chain spaces from row one. So I'm going to just insert it over here and attach your yarn, pull up a loop. You can chain one with both if you like. Sometimes people like to do that to secure it. Completely up to you. So I'm going to do two half double crochets in that same space. And I'm going to work two half double crochets across in each chain space, the chain two spaces. And this is what we have. This is what it looks like so far. We're coming up towards the end, the corner. And this is actually where I did my tie off. Um, so I'm going to work again, half double crochets in both of those last two corner chain spaces. And when we get here, um, what I did was I'm just half double crocheting in each of the corner stitches because we already cornered it out when we did row one but you're welcome to do a sharper corner if you'd like um, when you get to the center stitch you can do a chain one or do two or three in that center stitch it's up to you but what I did was just cornered it out and put one half double crochet into each of the regular um, single crochets from row one and then when I came around I'm just when I get to this point I'm doing it straight over that the join into that join stitch and just covering up my tail and then I'll of course weave that in later and so I have one more stitch that's a regular single crochet from that row so I'm just gonna do that in there actually I have two more it looks like then I'm going to continue doing my half double crochets into the chain space and work all around. And you work that way all around your entire border until you reach the beginning again. And when you get back to the beginning, you just do a normal join into the first half double crochet that you created when you first started. And that's it, it's really simple, really simple border. You can be creative with this. You can make, you know, put, you don't want to put something too thick in there or it might stretch it out, but you know, double crochets or a little, a popcorn in each one, a um, pineapple, a pineapple puff stitch in each one. But yeah, that's it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Please like and subscribe to my channel. These squares are a part of the Sweet Treats Crochet Along um, where we've done 12, we have 12 different patterns. We have an ebook that comes with it. And also um, it's by eight different designers, including myself, nine designers total. And each person designed a beautiful candy themed um, 25 by 25 C2C square.
And I'll leave the links for this crochet along in the description down below. And if you're part of the crochet along, thanks for being here and welcome to my channel. Please subscribe and if you have any questions, leave them down below or head over to the crochet along with us group and join the discussion. All right, thanks guys, happy crocheting.